Hi, this is Mark Delise, and in this video, this first video, I'm going to be going over the basic features of the video ads player. Uh, first of all, you know, you don't need to have video ads on it. It can just be a, a basic video player. And in this video, I'm going to show you how the basic video player works. It is a WordPress plugin, so once you have installed and activated it, you just come to your WordPress dashboard left-hand side, it'll say video ad player, and click on add new video. Once you have done that, let me just close a couple of these windows. Uh, oh, by the way, you can enter your email address and subscribe and get a really good PDF about the 10 Google SEO tips to get higher rankings and traffic. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and enter the title of your video. So this is going to be a demo of basic video player. All right. And just as a side note, it also has a, an audio player. So if you have an MP3, uh, you can enter it here. In this, so we're going to be going over the video functions. And this is an HTML5 video player. So you'll need a MP4 and a WebM. The OGG URL is for very, very old browsers out there. But all you really need that I would recommend is a WebM and an MP4. And this will cover 99.9% .9 of all the web browsers and devices out there. So I'm going to enter a MP4. So I have an MP4 right here. I'll just copy and paste that. There's the MP4. And the WebM is the same video file. Just put it's WebM. And also a splash image, which is called a poster image URL. So I'll grab this splash poster image there and I'll copy it and I'll put the poster image right there. You'll also note that it also has RTMP protocol support. So if you have if you want live streaming source, you if you have a live streaming source uh, URL for RTMP, you can put that there. Uh, no problem. Once you have the MP4 and WebM in there and a splash image, you can go ahead and click on video options. Here is all your player controls. So do you want the control bar on or off? Uh, right here, if you want the on autoplay on or off, right here, you want to have it loop the video. You want to have the full screen on or off option. You want to hide the control or the volume, yes or no. You want to hide the progress bar, yes or no. And then down below, you'll see it has aspect ratio. Here you can have a 4.3 ratio or a 6.9. This video is 6.9 and the maximum width I'm going to put is it's going to be 720. There you go. So the video's, video is going to be 720 wide. The the height of it will automatically be adjusted based on this ratio here. Okay. The alignment. Do I want centered or left? I'll just put center alignment. From here we can click on design options. Here is the play button icon. You can have the top left or in the center. I'll have the center. This is the control. A bar. Do I want to shrink it or make it bigger? I'll just leave it as default, which is empty. Here you can choose the colors of the um, control bar. So the progress bar, color picker, the skins. You can have a clean skin or default skin. And I'll show you what these look like. And also you can put a shadow and a border around the video and, and border styles. And I'll go over this in a second. But this is the basic features. I'm not going to be getting into the add options yet. So I'm just going to go over the video, the video options and the design options. So once you are done with those, you can go ahead and click on publish. Once you click on publish, you can go ahead and you can see the short code is right here. So copy the short code. So the short code is this simple video ad player ID number 125. So copy that and open up a new page. Let me just bring this over a little bit. I'll go and I'll open up a new page. Okay. And I'll name this page Video Add Player Basic Video. All right. And I'll paste that short code I'm just a couple down right there. There's a short code. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to come and I'm going to publish this. And it is also mobile responsive, so I'll view this page right here. Let's view the page. And there, there's the video. Okay, let me come up here. So there's the video. And there's a there's the centered, centered the icon. And there's a the video right there. It has a you know a nice looking control bar. 
Now I'm going to change the control bar and you'll see that it says view options and aspect ratios and keep that the same. Um, I'm going to change the design options. For example, I'm going to put a border uh, around it um, and also the skin is going to be changed. So first of all, let's just change the skin and I'll just uh, update it. The skin has changed. Let's go see what it looks like right here. And this would be the player skin and I will refresh it and click on play. So you'll see now this, the player skin is a lot larger, the icons are larger and so forth, okay? And let me just pause this video. Let's go back and I'm gonna put some design into it. You'll see if I scroll down below, it has a border and border color, but also border uh, shadow. So first I'm gonna put a border. Let's put something, for example, five pixels wide. This is in pixels. And I'm going to put, for example, look for a gold or a yellow, more of a goldish color, okay? So it's going to be five pixels wide, the border, and it's going to be a little bit of a gold color, and a border style is going to be solid, okay? So I'll update this page. I'll come back here, and I'll refresh. And you'll see now that there's going to be a nice gold border around the entire thing. So if I play the video... It's going to look really cool. All right. So that's the basic functions of, of the video player. You'll see that if I come back to the admin, and if I go to this page right here, it says all videos. You'll see that it has a list of the, the videos right here on file, and I can duplicate this and change a couple of the settings. So if I click on duplicate, I can duplicate, duplicate all these settings. I can trash it, quick edit of the title and so forth. Okay. So that's the basic video player and its functions, and it's HTML5, and it is mobile responsive, so if I shrink my browser window, it will shrink uh, for mobile devices. Thank you.